Hello everybody, this is Game Frost. In today's tutorial video, we are going to increase your uh, phone speed using the build prop. Now, this is going to only be a simple, very simple tweak. It's only about one tweak I found. And I think it's only for about Android 8, 9, and possibly Android Q because most of the um, build prop tweaks in Android are deprecated. What does that mean is that I scrapped those tweaks. So that's why I found um, a tweak that is used for Android 8, 9, and 10. I don't know about Android 7, but let's get straight into the video. So, as you can see, we now entered the build prop editor. In order to um, get the build prop editor, all you need to do is to download the app from the App Store, from the Google Play App Store. Um, it's created by J Rummy Apps, which is basically a team of people that create rooted software. You must have root for this to work because if you have root, you, you, you're able to you know modify your system files and settings. So the only tweak I'm going to show you today is how to change the Dalvik um, heap size. Now, what the Dalvik heap size is, um, is basically, it's part of the system. So if you have like um, a Dalvik system or something, this will be very beneficial. Now, this tweak can only work for pro probably Android 8, 9, and Q. Um, I don't know about Android 7, it might. But why uh, this is the only tweak I found is because the other build prop tweaks that uh, I've seen on XDA and other forums, they're basically pretty much deprecated, which means that they have been scrapped. Um, they just put simpler, you know, just putting more simpler on um, build prop props. I remember back then when Android first started, like let's say Android 3, 4, where there was a lot of files to configure. Now, we're pretty much limited right now. So basically it's like the, the, the more, um, like, the more Android versions we encounter, the less um, tweaks we can have for build prop. So for the Dalvik VM heat size, now what? how does this work is when it takes basically your system memory and it puts it into the Dalvik um, virtual memory. Now the, the benefits about it is that it improves system load times and it improves um, system, system performance overall. Um, so how... So I'll give you an example. I'm sorry guys. I'll give you an example. So my phone when it boots up, it boots up in 15 seconds or maybe less, maybe 15 14 seconds. Now when I uh, when I add uh when I add more uh more system RAM into the Dalvik um, heap size, it actually went from 15 seconds to now 10 or 9. It can work on some devices. I don't think it works on most. It depends on what Android operating system. Um, so basically, it literally come up with 36 meg megabytes. Remember, do not, oops, do not remove um, the M. Okay, you have to always keep the M. All you need to do is modify the number because if you remove the M, it will cause your system to go to a boot loop. That's what people have been experiencing. So I'm not responsible if your phone actually went to a boot loop. So I'm telling you, do not remove the M. You could change the number. Because the M stands for megabytes, do not change the M because that will mess up the build prop kernel. Um, so yeah, it used to be 36 uh, megabytes until I changed it to 512. Now, here's the system memory requirement. So basically, if you have two gigs of RAM, you can only choose 256 megabytes. And if you have one gig of RAM, I suggest that you use uh, 128 megabytes. Now, if you have 500 megabytes of RAM, which is literally impossible, um, you have to choose 64 megabytes. So why I chose 512 megabytes is because um, I do have a 2 gig um, ZRAM page file or something like that. Uh, basically, I use um, 2 gigs of my storage um, space and just convert it into ZRAM and I optimize that ZRAM so that I could use um, most of my, you know, system RAM. And that's how my system actually boot up faster. Like most of my games boot up faster. Um, it sometimes it could be a one second, two second um decrease. It depends on what uh what um 
Android system you have, but it's a really, really good um, tweak. All you need to do is just modify the number and you should be fine. Do not change, I mean, do not erase the end. Um, but if you have like four gigs of um, system memory, you could put up to possibly about two gigs of, uh, or 2048 um, megabytes of, um, you know, RAM. So, yeah. Um, that's all I gotta say. If you guys um, like this video, please leave a like. I want to know if you guys uh, have, like, if it works for you. You could comment down below if it actually works, like, if it improved your system. You can also try Antutu Benchmark if you can. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Also, yeah, um, if we can at, at least get 25 members in, the, in our Discord server, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, if we can also get two likes for this video, that would be greatly and yeah, so I hope you press the subscribe button and click the notification bell icon so you never miss any future videos. Bye everybody and have a